Jason Bennett's got some very interesting construction stories. One time he hit a gas line when he was using a machine like this. What happened, Jason? Uh, we put the Waffle House uh, out of business at lunchtime. <laughs> What happened now? We put the Waffle House out of business at lunchtime. It was happened right at noon. Yeah? Yeah, up in Georgia. Uh, they said the gas line was on the other side of the road. Unfortunately, it was on the side we were on, and we hit it right at lunchtime. Yeah. So people could not get waffles when they wanted because you did not call before you dug. Oh, no, we called, but the locate was on the wrong side of the highway. So this wasn't your fault? It's not my fault. Not my fault, no. So after hitting a gas line, something like that, when, when a gas line blows, does the job shut down? Uh, yeah, the job shuts down, and actually the Waffle House shuts down. The whole the whole side of the road was down. Fire trucks come. They shut down the highway. It's very very. Uh, it's a major not, problem. Not a good thing. Yeah, not a good thing. It was a small town, so it was like the big news of the town. Basically, the whole town shut down. What type of skill do you think it takes to operate a machine like this? You need a key to turn to turn ignition. Good. H hands are good. Hands. Um, and hand-eye coordination. Hand-eye coordination. Did you meet your wife in construction? Is it tough for a contractor like you? I mean, you're. do you think you're a fairly good-looking dude? I'm very handsome. Could you get any woman that you would want? Absolutely. Okay. So, you know, why would you be in construction? Why didn't you get into modeling? I probably should have gone into modeling, but um, it's just... You like have like a kind of a like one of those lily voices, too. That would have been perfect because a lot of those guys sound like that. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed that. Um... Is that a, a real lisp, or are you doing this just for the camera? No, just for the camera. Just for the camera. I can put it on and off. And usually, do you have that 5 o'clock shadow, or do you shave? I do I do shave, and actually, I shaved this morning, believe it or not. I don't believe it. I did. On the job site, typically, is this what you wear? Yes, this is usually my attire. Are those clean clothes, or clothes you had on for like two days before? The pants have been on for three days. And the shirt is uh, this, actually a couple hours ago I put this on. I care. Ever get challenged on a job by another guy? You ever have a fight on a job? Uh, occasionally. I have other guys that always get in trouble. I'm usually the breakup man on the job. So you're kind of the negotiator. You're like the United Nations. You're more of a diplomat when it comes to any trouble on a job. You step in there. You stop it because probably you own the business. You want to make sure there's no trouble or because you're just a nice guy. Right. We'll try to avoid litigation whenever possible. Calm them down. Get everybody separated and everybody gets to go home happy. What stereotype of the construction industry do you think it's most overplayed? Is it the contractors drink or contractors are late on a job or contractors can't pass a drug test? What stereotype do you think is so false that we should try to quash it here on this show? Um, in my viewpoint, that owners of construction companies are rich men and uh, we, we just make all this money. Um, I think that's, and that's not the case. Right. I mean, when you pull up with the Mercedes, I thought the same thing. Right. right. And as you can see, I'm actually trying to get on the game show. Instead out there making money working in construction right now. Would you rather do this for a living, be an actor or be a contractor? I, I think I have a good choice. I mean, everybody else thinks my interviewing skill is not very good, but I think I'm awesome. You're doing great today. Thank you. You're doing awesome today. You. Any other thing about the construction industry? Like, was your father in the business? Was your grandfather? Does this go back generations? Is this a true family construction business? Uh, my father was in the business. He did construction site work uh, all his life, and um, that's where ours, ours started. That's where at the beginning. See, typically most contractors get in the business because of their family. Today's kids are getting in because you got Bob the Builder or some show that's really not true about construction. A lot of these TV shows don't portray construction in a very true manner, but this show is going to show some skills. You're going to show us some skills that you have. You can't get this in five years, six years. How long does it take you to actually get the skill it takes to drive a machine like this? I think about nine to ten years to really know what you're doing and feel like you're, you're actually one with the machine. Uh, one with the machine, like like like, like, like you're connected. Like yeah, transform. yeah. There's no thought process to it when you're in there. You're part. You're a machine. The machine and you are one. You seem a little pensive. Uh, I'm not nervous at all. That's not what pensive means. <laughs> and how about you? Do are you nervous at all? Uh, nah, probably not. Okay. So we're gonna have a great show. Let's get to the game. On three. Pop those champagne bottles. One. Go! Looks like Jason Bennett leading the win. Come on, Jason Swift. Get closer. Oh, 